Hey everybody, this is Mr. Cliftron. Uh, really quickly, I wanted to go ahead and apologize. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of apology in this video, but, but to start off, my computer, um, I actually saved some of my files with the wrong numbers. So when I looked back at them, I got confused and saved new files as, with the wrong numbers. So my videos are, like, if I ever say, like, what episode it is, it's going to be, like, one off. It's actually going to be, like, one number after what it actually is supposed to be. So I apologize for that right now. Um, it's not a big deal, but you know, it's uh, something that I want to make sure is clear. So uh, sorry again for that, and uh, now to the video. Thanks. Hello everybody, this is Mr. Clifftron. And right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. Um... <laughs> I want to go ahead and say that I am very sorry for taking this long to update the video. Um, unfortunately, finals and things kind of... Oh, damn it, that sucked. Finals kind of got in the way. Um, you know, it's... It wasn't really the most... I don't know, relaxed schedule. Uh, there was a lot of studying a lot of exam taking, just a lot of stuff going on, um, and I apologize that I did not take the time to update these videos. Uh, it's a problem, and yeah, I know that, and I'm going to try to fix that, uh, but fortunately, I have a very nice internship over the summer that I will be making money, you know, just doing that. And so that's going to take priority, and that's going to be up in Boston, and so I'm not going to be able to really make these videos, and so my goal for this is to try to upload, or not upload, but record as many of these as I possibly can, do editing and everything, upload them to YouTube, but keep them private, and then kind of update them as time goes on. Um... I have till the end of May, pretty much, to do that. So you can bet that I will be doing my best to get everything kind of recorded, edited, 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 and ready for everything to go online so that you will have something from me over this summer many deaths probably but I promise that I will do everything I can to make sure that I get oh really I promise to make sure that I get everything that I can done so that at least we'll finish gears hopefully like by the end of this or by the end of my like mass recording sessions gears will be finished um, I'm not gonna guarantee anything but if we're really lucky maybe we'll be starting another one. Um, I have it picked out. It's been requested. It's ready. I have the game, so hopefully by the end of uh, this like month, I'll have that one at least started and in the process. And because I won't really have the ability to like uh, upload or just really even record or edit anything over the uh, time period that I'm gone. My plan is to kind of have that all on YouTube and ready uh, and I'll upload those after we finish the Gears uh, 1 recordings. So hopefully this will all be coming to you, uh, well this one I'll be uploading it probably, if not tonight, then this weekend, oh, fuck, uh, but I'm gonna try to get this one out as quickly as possible because I know that I've been slacking, uh, on my responsibilities to you all, so, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I really am kind of ashamed of because, you know, I mean, I could have done this, but I decided, oh, no, it's okay, I'll just play Skyrim right now, and then I'll play the 
I'll do the let's play later. And I kind of got out of hand, and then, well, nothing good came of it. So, I promise I will try to do better. Um, and until then, we'll just have to deal with what we got. And now I'm concentrating. <laughs> well, that was nice. A couple good kills. Uh, but yeah, so... I hope everybody's doing well. So yeah, like I said, I had finals. Um, that actually went... It, it's gone pretty well so far. So I, uh... I've gotten an A-plus in one of my exams. That was my Java exam. That's good. And, then I got an A minus in physics. That's I, I was hoping for an A, but you know what? I'll I'll take the A minus. It's fine. I still did well. But you know, anyway, enough about me. Just I've been talking so much about myself. I'm just so self-centered, aren't I? I'm so terrible. I'm a terrible person. I know. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very interesting because I have a. Uh, a friend who's a big PC gamer, and now he's trying to get me into uh, StarCraft and Diablo. Is there going to be more dialogue? Feel that? It's gotta be another hole. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I think that's the dialogue for now. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So my friend's trying to get me into like Blizzard games. Pretty much anything Blizzard. He's all of a sudden like saying, "Oh my gosh, you have to do this. It it'll be awesome." And so, I think at this point, I, uh, I'm going to be getting Diablo 3 uh, when it releases, just because my friend is so adamant about getting me to play this. So, or, well, play Diablo. He, uh, whoa. He has me playing Diablo 2 now, sort of. Um, like, he's kind of forced me to, it's... This weird kind of yeah well I like I'm playing it casually and he's using his old characters to like get us every like good weapon and armor and everything that he possibly can so we're we're kind of like breezing through it but you know it, it's good for me because I really am not knowing what's going on I mean I actually haven't cared that much about the story I just haven't even really tried to pay attention. The cutscenes are actually very good, though, for uh, a game that's that old. Like just going back and seeing the cutscenes, it's pretty amazing what Blizzard did. Um, and that's one of the things that I have to respect. Uh, but yeah, it's it's interesting. But yeah, so I'll probably be playing Diablo 3 when that time comes. Okay, let's see. We'll go ahead and get this out. Yeah, it seems like uh, Dom really isn't doing that much right now. Um, you can always tell him to attack. Of course, he doesn't seem to care. Anyway, whoa! Come on, gotta get him, gotta get him, get him. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright. So, um, I guess I better recap some of the story. Uh, just in case, because it's been such a long time since I've updated, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I really should have been more conscious about 
what I was doing and when I was doing it. Um, but yeah, so currently we're headed to Marcus's dad's lab. Um, I'm not sure if that was actually in the story yet. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, see, there it is. It's searching for the hidden lab. So, we're searching for the lab, um, we're trying to find data about, like, the locust underground city, a whole lot of stuff that's going on down there, and so pretty much we're just trying to find the lab to find the data. And, of course, the locust, being enemies, seem to always have the knowledge of where we are. And that was very, very close. And I was not trying to kick in the door, I was trying to get that. And that. We've gotta be quiet now. <laughs> I'm not sure kicking around the corpses being quiet, but Hey! It's all clear out right here! Damn it! Get the hell up cold. Whoa, sorry, baby. <laughs> Which members? Nothing we can do about it. Keep moving. APC's online. We're coming in. Copy that. I think we found it. Jack, rip that door. What would we do without Jack? Jack. That's probably what we'd do without Jack. We do Jack. Jack in it in San Diego. Okay, so... I know, um, that there was actually one spot in here somewhere that was, like, really easy just to wait and kill everybody that, like, walked in. It was a nice, kind of secure spot. I don't remember where that is. Um... I think I may have just been one one of these like <sighs> Ooh, I apologize about that yawn. Okay. Um I think it's somewhere around here ish, kind of, sort of. Wait, did do I have to go back and oh I have to kick the door again. Kick. Nice wine cellar though, you know, except for the fact that it's filled up with water. I think we found it. Jack, rip that door. I also like how like if you walk around in here, you can actually crack the uh wine glasses a little bit, like if you step on them they'll crack and shatter. There's only one reason locust stuff. Alright, so here we go. This is a nice little place to snipe them from, assuming they come down anytime soon. So yeah, I mean, pretty much just unload. It's, it's always the best way to take care of Locust, just unload. If you can aim higher, um, the higher you aim, obviously, the closer to the, their head you'll be. Um, if you ever need to blind fire, that's fine. It's not that great idea though, because you know, blind firing is not that accurate. And let's try to get over here. Oh, dang it, now he's moving around. But yeah, I mean, like, if they get close, usually, like, in gears, obviously, shotgun is the best. It's, like, the favorite weapon of everyone. It has an extremely nice um, range, really, for a shotgun. <laughs> Dang it, how did he not die? But yeah, I mean, the Nasher has a really decent range. It really does. Um, <laughs> it's also very good at close range, so it's very versatile. Um, 
it's not like obviously as effective as the um, uh, the lancer or a um, a uh, uh, dang it, why is it I'm blinking? Hammer burst, that's it. Hammer burst. At long range. Now I'll shut up for the cutscene. Okay, so, now that we've reached this checkpoint, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is gonna be this, that, for, uh, this is gonna be it for this episode. Um, this has been Mr. Clifftron. Once again, I apologize for my delays. I apologize for just the random stuff that should not be, uh, recorded. It's my fault, and, uh, I am going to try my best to fix it. So, thank you for bearing with me, and, uh, I'll see you next time.